about it. Religion has actually convinced people that there's an invisible man living in the sky who watches everything you do. It's, it's better to know the truth. I remember um, my mum only lied to me about one thing. Um, she, uh, she said there was a god. And um... <laughs> if you believe you're in a long-term relationship with an all-powerful space daddy, <laughs> who will, after you die, party with your ghost forever,
An American woman who converted to Islam immediately after 9-11. Find out why. Meet her next. Servando Bay, the 19-year-old Canadian Muslim, discovered the role of Islam in her life after the September 11th attacks. And early last year, she took days one involving a man who the feds say wanted to blow up a federal building, the Finley Building, in Springfield, Illinois. Now, this is the suspect. His name is Michael Finton. He converted to Islam while in prison. Well, many people turn to religion to help them cope in the days after the 9-11 attacks, and some even chose new faiths, including Islam. That may be no surprise, since a quarter of the estimated 6 million Muslims in the United States are converts. One of the quickest ways to become a best-selling author is just to apostate from Islam and write a horrible book about Muslims or Islam. And suddenly you're on all these talk shows and you become an expert on Islam. So as you come up to 10, that is their god, that is 10, that is the hermaphrodite. But if you stop at 9 and you skip to 11, skipping god, then you are a Luciferian. Because ah. 11 is the number of the magician, it's the one step above. Once you have accomplished the tree of life, you are now the magician, you are one above 10. But they're doing it by skipping god. That's the symbolism of 9-11.